started with the idea of extension. And that included extending spatially, extending into spaces, and the extension of materials, um, different kinds of materials, materials that could be used in extensive situations so that they could go in depth into spaces and be used on a larger scale but in a lightweight, economical way and where I could use the materials very simply. So from that I was building up uh, an accumulation, or starting to, of materials which could work for me easily and cheaply. Um, and the accumulation was a summation of materials which would work in extension. So that word extensum was a, just, um, was a word which I made up really from the idea of extension and summation, uh, a collection of materials which could be used extensively. Recently I've worked on the opposite idea of that, um, uh, where the materials were used as a collection or an accumulation in an intensive situation, that was an enclosed situation, where there was a high energy content of materials uh, brought together closely instead of being used as an extension into space, either outdoors or indoors. I'd been given the opportunity of exhibiting in an enclosed space so the appropriate thing seemed to be to make a work that evidenced the idea of an intensum and about that time because I like to link my work and my life I've tried to sort of integrate the two over the years although I've found this quite difficult um, a friend of mine died and it wasn't just um, any old friend. It was a, a friend of a very long time, a, a, somebody I'd known since childhood. And behind the work at the time, I was thinking of ideas of continuity and constancy and those kind of values that we have in life, um, particularly as a contrast with my work, which is so t temporary and ephemeral. And I was questioning the, the things that are constants in our lives. The work really has its basis or base ground in the landscape projects, uh, which I do concurrently with the indoor installations, because the outdoor projects are just recorded on slides and they're not really seen by anybody. They're explorations by me of the landscape and of the reality around me. Um, so people don't see them and um, I find to communicate with people I have to come back into the gallery situation and exhibit something. And the materials that I and projects indoors are really um, like residues or remnants of an ongoing project that's been about perhaps a particular aspect of the idea of continuity and change and flux. The inside outside thing is very much interrelated with the intense and extensive idea which includes enclosure and openness um, so indoors and outdoors are, are part of it um, and I'd like to try and integrate the two sometimes in installations where I get a, a relationship a sort of unified relationship between the two but often there's an emphasis on one or the other the indoor installations are that the work is geared to the space that I'm given. Um, its size and its the shape of the space is important in the way the work is structured and placed in that space. And it's related to the body, the, the figure moving around it. I didn't find this particular space too difficult because it seemed to fit rather nicely the idea of an enclosed set apart space. Um, it's formal based on the square with a, a central column which I quite liked the idea of the centre, um, the centre of the person, the, um, 
that idea of something coming from the centre, something being alive from the centre or degenerating from the centre. And here I've used the a dissipation of en energy from the centre to the outside uh, as the work runs towards the corners of the space. Uh, and the placement's really based on a, a cross. Uh, it can be a marker marking a place. It, it has um, resonances with the, the cross that has been the symbol of Christianity for so long, though it's, it's not necessarily that here. It, it's more geared, I think, as a, uh, something that relates to the figure. of staining in the colours goes back. It's really evolved and um, from a process whereby I was trying to extend from a basic material and that goes back to the landscape, to the earth itself, to rock, where I, the first material I chose to use in my work was rock. And then I found that some of the rock on Banks Peninsula had this, these bands of iron oxides in them. and. I began to put um, steel with with the rock, and the staining was an extension of that. Really, uh, I couldn't use steel in an, uh, on large scale for econo economy reasons, and, and uh, it was it was too heavy for me to work myself and carry about. So I evolved a way of um, using lighter weight materials and in ver various um, kinds. It's, it's not intended to be, um, to imitate steel. Uh, it, it evolves out of the pro process, really, where I'm using a, a, a range of materials. I don't like to impose myself on, on the landscape in a permanent kind of way. They're just brief, transitory placements of things that might key people onto certain landforms or point them towards certain things which I have found. It's basically about three elements of space, time and materials and the time element is seen in the way the projects are ongoing and they're not fixed, they're open-ended and the way the materials are used again and some relate back to materials used earlier on and new materials are added to and you can see the way some are new materials and some are older, worn um, and stained.